Okay, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do now is, uh, we right now we have the ability to add users. Um, we can edit users, or uh, people in our table anyways. But what happens if we want to remove someone from our table? So we're going to add in a button here to remove um, either a row or multiple rows. Um, we can do like a multi-select uh, as well. That's the goal of this video. So let's uh, let's go into Scene Builder, add our button, and then we'll go to our controller class to uh, configure the behavior. So let's add in a button, and this is a delete persons, and we'll make this the same size as the others. So everything else here was one seventy five. There we go. Hit save. Now, the first thing is, in order for our table to be able, so currently, if I uh, if I launch the table, our button's not really hooked up, so it doesn't do anything. But if I want, like right now, I'm holding down the shift key. It doesn't allow me to multiple. It won't allow me to select multiple uh, rows. And, and you may choose to uh, not want to allow people to do that. It really depends on the use case. But in this case, I want to allow them to uh, choose multiple rows. So when I initialize the table, I need to set that up. So I'm going to go to that method called initialize. And then this will allow. Okay. And so... In this one, we're going to start off with the table view, and then we have to uh, con we're going to change the selection mode on it, basically. Um, so we'll go with table view, and then we will get the selection mode, and then we're going to set the mode. So you see, by default, it's single. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that to multiple. And that allows us to, to choose multiple rows at once. And then we're just going to build a little method uh, to remove those rows. So in order to delete the uh, user, we have to remember that uh, what's inside of the table is actually something called an observable list of person objects. So it's, um, it, it's just a list that has a, a bunch of person objects in it. So what we need to do is we, we need to retrieve that total list and we need to retrieve a list of the persons that are the rows that are selected to remove them. So I'm going to say observable list, it's my data type, and that observable list holds person objects. So I'm going to say uh, the people selected, actually let's call it the selected rows, and we'll say all people, okay? So all people will be equal to the table view. get items, right? So give me everything in the table. So that's nice and easy to do. Now the selected rows is a little bit, a little bit more interesting. Uh, we'll say selected rows equals. And in here, um, we need to, uh, we need to say table view. And then it's a little interesting. You have to get the selection model and then you can get the selected items. Okay, so and then I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop over top of this list and remove anything that's in this list. So I'll say for uh, person. So everything in this observable list is a person object. So that's why in the for loop I say it's a person. 
and <clears throat> this will return all of the people or person objects that are in uh, that have been selected. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say all the people. So the big list remove the person that's in this loop, right? Hit save. So again, uh, the all people is every person object in the table. Selected rows are the rows that have been selected. And we, we loop over, let's, let's write this in that comment here. Loop over selected rows. Hit save. And then the last thing we have to do is we have to connect this method up with our button. So to do that, we're going to go back into Scene Builder. So we click on the button. I'm going to go down to Code in the lower right. And then on Action, so when the button's pushed, what do we want it to do? Well, that's the Delete button was pushed. Hit Save. Go back to NetBeans. And let's run this. And if I choose Frank Sinatra and Mr. T and say delete the persons, they're both gone. And if I add in uh, Fred Flintstone, and we get rid of, oops, and we just want to delete one person at a time, we can do that as well, and it works fine. So there you have it. Uh, easy ways to select rows and delete rows uh, from a table. See you in the next video.